In the summer of 1983, NASA launched the first American woman into space aboard the shuttle Challenger. On hand that day to witness the launch was an eight-year-old girl who would forever be changed by the experience. Amanda Stubblefield says even before Challenger had disappeared from sight that morning, she could already see her future in the space program. Amanda first came to space camp in 1987, saving her allowance for two years to help pay for the trip. She liked it so much, her parents had to promise her a return trip the next summer before she would agree to leave. She returned to us as a counselor during the summers of 1995, 96, and 97, working in the Aviation Challenge program. After getting her engineering degree at Vandy, Amanda came back to the Space Center to work full-time but we lost her to her first love in January of 2001. That's when Amanda's career in the space industry really took off. One assignment led to the next, and today, Amanda trains astronauts and cosmonauts who will fly to the International Space Station next year. Based at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Amanda's working with a crew of Expedition 18 to make certain they fully understand the station's life support systems, how to survive in space, and how to handle emergencies. Looking back on her days at space camp, she says her most vivid memories are of those working with blind and visually impaired children. Looking ahead, Amanda's working on her master's degree in aeronautical science because she says she believes the space program is of critical importance to our nation and to our planet. Whatever the future holds for us in space, Amanda plans to be a part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome to the Space Camp Hall of Fame a two-time graduate and former counselor who went from training children in camp to training astronauts for space, Miss Amanda Stubblefield. 